everyone, this is Chad at round two. So we're back for our product spotlight video for October. So we've got a lot of cool stuff this month. There's new uh, releases for Johnny Lightning, including Johnny Lightning dioramas, as well as a new release for Auto World and 164th. Uh, we've got some Auto World 118 cars to show you, and some model kits with new uh, a new tooled kit for sci-fi, and some new car kits as well. So we'll get going and jump right into it. Okay, so first off in model kits, we're going to start off with uh, sci-fi. So we've got a big kit for you guys. This is the uh, Star Trek Klingon Katinga class battle cruiser from Star Trek the Motion Picture. So this is in a 1 3 50th scale. It measures over two feet long. And uh, what's great about this kit, obviously being in the large scale, this is an all new tool. Our uh, head designer for all of our Star Trek and sci-fi stuff, Jamie Hood, has spent over two years developing this kit. So it's very highly detailed. Um, lots of raised paneling on it lots of really cool stuff and part of it um there are all these decals that come with this kit was designed uh with lighting in mind for all you guys that want to add lighting to your kits so it's designed for um to hold all the lighting within it which is actually we have made this separately too so the uh the pack on the back of this kit can hold the pack for the lighting and this is the uh lighting kit that can be bought for this kit and this is all plug and play so it's not uh soldering or any of that needed so these together should be really really cool go with those 1350 scale enterprises and uh we're really excited to see what you guys do with those and then next up for model kits sticking with the motion picture type kits this is our uh ghostbuster ecto one uh snap kit so we have, this is a uh, perennial great seller. Great, uh, it's perfect for uh, Halloween coming up. But what we've changed about this is now we've included a uh, pre-painted Slimer figure to go with the kit as well. And for those of you who aren't familiar, you've got all the parts, the light bars, the electron cannon, the weather radar, all the parts that came on the Ecto-1 are included in this kit. So it's a fun build. It's a great, easy snap together build. And it should be perfect in time for Halloween. So next up, this is the 2009 Dodge Challenger RT. This is one of our showroom replica kits, 125th scale. So what's cool about this, you've got lots of uh, lots of different parts, over 40 detailed parts, um, a lot of really detailed decals and everything that goes with it. It builds up pretty easy. These showroom replicas are really nice kits to build and uh, should be a really cool one. We get a lot of requests for those. Next up in automotive, this is the 77 Ford cruising van. So what's cool about this, we have added uh, Firestone pad printed tires. We expanded the decal sheet to include uh, the factory striping, a couple different options for factory striping there on the kit. Um, and there's lots of other cool expanded stuff here. You can kind of see the, uh, the decal sets there to do the porthole windows, license plates, stripes, all of that stuff. A good look at the parts back here. And lastly in kits, this is our next automotive kit. This is the AMT 1994 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. So this is also in 125th scale. And some of the cool options with this. You've got your uh, 240 horsepower 351 engine, four speed automatic transmission that comes with it. We included optional window and door decals as well. Uh, it's got those cool Lightning bumpers and everything included. And should be a really, uh, really fun kit to put together. So that's everything we've got for model kits. Next, we'll jump in and show you guys 164th diecast. All right, so starting with 164th here, we've got uh, new stuff for Johnny Lightning and Auto World both. So we're going to start with uh, the new additions to our Johnny Lightning dioramas. So this is our American Snapshot series. So what's cool about these, these are kind of uh, old school Americana. This is the uh, Clyde Supermarket diorama here with uh, El Camino, and we included a... Uh, little fruit baskets from the supermarket in the El Camino lots of cool little details in the diorama so it's a nice release and looks really nice sitting on shelves and even in package here and then the next version for that this is the 1958 Chevy Corvette in the American snapshots this is the double feature night so it's sitting in front of the uh, a classic uh, theater here some movie signs and some other cool stuff so those should be a cool release something different than what we uh, normally do so be excited to see those coming out next we've got the Johnny Lightning Street Freaks release so um, in this release 
starting off, we've got uh, additions to our Demolition Derby series, which has proved to be really popular. This is the 1965 Chevy Chevelle wagon. So here it is in blue with red, the 40 uh, on the wagon. You've got that uh, demolition paint going over the tires. And here it is in green for version B. And then next up in Street Freaks, this is our new Zinger car. So this is the 1970 Plymouth Superbird, a big wing Superbird. So what's cool about this, these are really big and, and cartoony and cool looking. So we've got it in red and yellow here for the first one with that big Zinger blown engine. And in uh, version B in orange here, black and, uh, black and yellow de uh, accents on it and decals on it as well. Next, uh, this is coming up in our Blacked Out series. This is the 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. So we've got the first variation here. You can see it's black with the bird on the hood, the uh, white letter tires, lots of cool little decals on that. And version B, you've got a little different blacked out black wheels and uh, the striping on the top there. Next up, this is uh, in our spoiler series. This is the 1975 Chevy Corvette. So we've got two variations of this too. Version A is in green here. It's got that spoiler big engine coming out on the top. You got the yellow accents on it as well. And here's the other version. This is a metallic cherry. Those cool number 49s on it. Next in Street Freaks, this is uh, the return of boogie vans. So we've done a couple of these so far and they've proved to be popular as well. This is the 1977 Ford Econoline van. So similar to that cruising van that we just showed you for the model kits. Is that first version, the van on the run and that good looking brown color and the navy blue variation of it here. The white interior. And then lastly, this is our next, uh, our next release for import heat. So this is bringing back our 1996 Honda Civic hatchback, the EK hatch. So what's cool about these, we've got those, uh, the black hood and black um, hatch on the back of it there. A great looking uh, green color, teal green, and then uh, more of a lime green for the version B. So the import heat has always proved to be a popular series. So we're excited to bring more of those back out. Next, we've got a uh, set for Auto World as well. So we did a new set, uh, showed you some of the new tools last month. So in this one, we've got uh, one of those new tools was the 1974 Buick Estate Wagon. Well, this is a variation. This is the 1975. And we've got two versions here. Here it is in beige, and this is the first time that this casting has been a 1975 or has had the wood grain on the side of it. And here it is in uh, white with red interior and that great looking wood grain on the side next version in the release this is our other new tool the 1962 Chevy Impala convertible so you might remember in the first release we had it as a hard top and we had the convertible available with a display case well this is the first time the convertible is available in a uh, regular release so here it is in white the red interior and red accents and the second version here and that turquoise great looking matching interior and next up in the release, this is the 1972 Ford Mustang Mach 1. So we've got it in the uh, baby blue here with all those silver Mach 1 accents, white letter tires, really great looking release on that one. And here it is here in the lime green with all the black accents as well. Next in the release, this is the 1976 Cadillac Coupe DeVille. So here we've got it in black with the uh, red accents and blue interior. And here it is in white with uh, with the red vinyl top and red, uh, red dash matching the interior as well. Fifth in the release, this is the 1969 Pontiac Firebird. So we haven't done this one in a little bit here. Here it is in that gray orange color with that white vinyl top, matching white interior, white letter tires. And this is my personal favorite. The Vidoro green version with the black uh, vinyl top in it and it's got that tan interior to match it's a great looking color combination and lastly this should prove to be another popular one this is the return of our 1965 Ford GT40 so what these are this is actually the first time that we've done a uh, regular series non-hobby exclusive with all the golf licensing on our GT40 so here it is in that famous uh, number 40 light blue and orange 
And the other variation, it's that dark blue with all the golf livery on it and that orange stripe. So should both prove to be popular. They got those Firestone uh, yellow letter tires as well. That's everything we got for 164th. Next we'll jump in and uh, show you guys 118. All right, so moving into 118, first off, this is a really popular, super cool one. This is the first release of our 2017 Yanko Chevy Camaro. So uh, you guys have seen our 2017 tooling before. This Yanko variation has these newly tooled Yanko wheels. It's got the Yanko hood, all the striping package that comes with it. Uh, there's the Yanko interior, which has black and white houndstooth uh, seat on there. Might be a little hard to see on the camera, but there is a, a nice interior look to it. Um, lots of cool features, and we're like very excited about this. Our Yanko stuff um, for the older cars always sells really well, and this is a, a great addition to that. So we're excited to see that come out. Next for 118, this is the next in our release for Muscle Car and Corvette National, the 1969 Dodge Coronet RT. So this is in a great looking uh, steel gray color. And we've got the um, opening doors and hood, the detailed engine, the uh, detailed black interior on it, steerable front wheels and all of that great stuff. So for you, those of you guys that aren't uh, aware of our Muscle Car and Corvette National releases, these are always based on an actual car that was at the show. So this is based on a car owned by Dave Belcars. And this was a photograph we photographed it at the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show. So we always try to replicate, you know, actual cars and keep it, you know, keep it cool. And you guys seem to love that too. So lastly, this is a Hemmings Muscle Machine release. This is the 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Um, so what's cool about this, it does have all of our normal 118 features with the opening doors and hoods, steerable front wheels, detailed engine, uh, accurate interior. But this is based on a uh, cover car from January 2011, which was a nine second uh, sleeper looking car so stock looking Mach 1 that put nine seconds down at the quarter mile so should be a really cool release our Mach 1s are always pretty popular in 118 scale and then lastly we do have a new um, series that's coming out in auto world so these are 118s um, these are part of our greatest generation series that we've moved into auto world so these are more of a value based um, pricing on them and they're available at hobby shops and then if you're in the midwest they'll be available at meyer as well but this one is the world war ii uh willie's military jeep so what's cool about this we've got it in the uh army olive drab green all the letters and uh everything on it to make it world war ii accurate so we based it on uh photos from world war ii and we've actually got two variations of these coming out so there's the green ver army version and here is the blue navy version the other variation for it so you can see some of those painted uh, details on there as well. Super cool looking, uh, as we mentioned, more of a value-based pricing from uh, a normal 118. So should be super cool. Um, be awesome to see what you guys pick up and what you like. So that's everything we have got for uh, October. Lots more stuff coming in, especially with the holiday season coming up. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, keep watching our videos. Check us out on our Facebook pages. Check out round2corp.com. Thanks again. We'll see you next month.